from the Majority World International Solidarity Coordinating Council of Communities of Resistance, MWISCO Statement, Indigenous Resistance Day 2023. 531 years since the war against our peoples and Mother Earth commenced, we honour our ancestors, our martyrs, and all those that resist to defend life. We honour them today because we recognise that our lives are the fruits of their resistance, and evidence of this barbaric genocidal mission is not stronger than our people's love for life. Today, what we are witnessing is a process of reparations unfold as colonized communities across the world are being compelled into resistance. Freedom fighting forces like those in Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso are taking back their land from French imperialism. Palestinians in Gaza are struggling for self-determination. The Otomi community in Mexico City have marked three years occupying the National Institute of Indigenous Peoples, transforming it into a space that serves the people. Pueblos Unidos de la Región Choluteca closed down transnational Bonafont and on a water bottling factory as they exerted their own people's justice process. Indigenous nations like the Betobo and their Abudenun Bisiga organizational spearhead in West Africa the Mosigur, the Hauda in the Sahel of Africa, the Oba Herrera and Nama in southern Africa, and the Mapuche in southern Abiyala are pushing for plurinational indigenous self-governance and challenging the colonial borders that were imposed upon them. Organizations like the Regional Indigenous Council of Cauca, the Creek, and the Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of Ecuador, the Conae, are demonstrating what it means to build up people's institutions that are based upon ancestral forms of organization, Peoples in Haiti, Peru, and Pakistan have risen up in defense of true people's democratic process, rejecting Western imperialist intervention and colonial constitutions. African heritage communities in the diaspora are reclaiming their African stories of resistance, like the Bandera Prietas are doing in Palenque de Yoko in Colombia. Indigenousness and grassroots resistance in Colombia has mobilized to secure the election of their first left-wing government in 200 years, and indigenous communities are restituting ancestral knowledges in contested spaces like the University of Newcastle in Australia and through community educational institutions like San Copacumba, the Vidyagor, and the Yachaywasi. Each of these wins are spreading ripples into the hearts and minds of colonized peoples globally, and with them, a process of self repair is being enacted as our bodies begin to feel that our emancipation and liberation from this decadent system that destroys all life and that subdues our peoples to a white supremacist system of domination is near. We are clear that leadership comes from the people and that as a people we have the capacity to transform our material conditions as well as govern ourselves under our own people's institutions in line with our own ancestral traditions and customs. In all of our territories we are developing programs to develop to defend our people's and Mother Earth rights, including our rights to life, to self-determination, and to sovereignty. Now, we must begin to globalize these processes through the intercommunity grassroots effort to build up the Ubuntu Bachavidya People's University of Planner Repairs Action Learning, the UPCAPRAL, one of the main initiatives of MUISCO. The UPCAPRAL seeks to facilitate the interconnection of communities of resistance globally so the processes of education for liberation can be realized cross-continentally and so that we can develop understandings of our different contexts and stages of struggle in order to coordinate and harmonize shared strategies and tactics towards the social and national liberations of all our colonized communities and nations against all forms of colonialism, imperialism, genocide, and ecocide. This process of true internationalist power building begins with us learning each other's names, bases, and processes of resistance. For example, we should know the names of our different political prisoners, like Mumia Abu Jamal, Rochelle Magui, Leonard Peltia in the USA, Amit Chakrabati in India, Manuel Gomez in Mexico, Walid Daka from Palestine, Machel Umeshalelo in Namibia, Sande Kuwine, Kozo Gameli, Ben Agorzur, Johannes Zigby and Donia Kafui Esor in Ghana, as well as Julian Assange, as well as our martyrs like Adan Linares Silverio, Freddy Campos, and our ancestors like Kwame Nkrumah and Che Guevara. We should also be holding up freedom fighters from other communities as our own, so that governments and corporations know that there will be repercussions from communities everywhere if they touch one of us anywhere. 
in our communities, schools, universities, and homes, we should have the banners and symbols of other communities of resistance on our walls, and we should be recognizing and celebrating our different advances cross-continentally. Our children should be learning the songs of resistance from other communities in their schools, and we should be promoting our children to share correspondence with children in other communities of resistance globally. We must rebuild internationalist networks and institutions that are able to unify our people's power throughout the global majority and remember that our people have a history of unity and that we are all one same humanity struggling for a world in which all life can flourish. A multipolar world of global justice, also known by our African communities as Ubuntu Dunya, or as the Zapatistas say, a world in which many worlds fit. The contradictions of this imperialist system are everyday widening, the conditions of our peoples every day are becoming more dire, and fascism and eco-fascism are on the rise. But with every attack that imperialism wages, we are only gaining more consciousness. At this stage, it is clear that our resistance is inevitable, and united, our victory is too inevitable. In indigenous resistance is leading this direction, and we have a duty to our ancestors and to our future generations to be their hearts and minds, and to be their arms and legs, and to continue to work together, finding our different brothers and sisters and siblings across the world that are also taking up this direction and building people's reparations for planet repairs as they struggle for life and a just peace in their territories. Today, we do not remember the colonizers, we remember our ancestors. Those who struggled for life never die. The seeds that our martyrs have left soon will bloom, and the flowers of liberation will be our vengeance. Majority World International Solidarity Coordinating Council of Communities of Resistance, 12th of October, 2023. Thank you.